art of standing completely still and then wowing the crowd. The Dutch city of Arnhem is once again hosting the annual World Living Statues Festival, this time with entries from 24 nations. There are three awards up for grabs, decided by a jury and the public. Patrick van Horn is in the professional class. He makes around 50 paid appearances a year and already scooped the Belgian championships back home last summer. This is his second attempt at the world crown. I do most of my costumes myself, but I had this one made because it was so difficult. There are familiar old faces in the changing area, where you get a first impression of the sheer variety of costumes in competition. One couple is posing as figurines made from the Netherlands' famous blue and white Delftware pottery. The toughest part is having a good idea, a new idea. For the World Championships, you have to be original. This participant from Britain is going completely undercover. People walk past me, they don't, they don't see me, which is really nice. So then when I, when I move, I usually get a, a big surprise. Time for Van Horn to likewise apply those finishing touches, in his case, camouflaged as a piece of wood. I'm not here to win. I'm here to have a great day. Hair lacquer helps to fix the makeup in place before he dons his costume. The foam that makes up his coat is flexible enough, but when his performance starts, the transformation into hardwood sculpture is complete. Once somebody throws a coin into the bowl, the action begins. It looks like he's made out of a block of wood. Even his head has a mahogany-like shine. It looks great. I have to laugh, also because of the play on wood. You can see it's made of wood. Part of being the perfect living statue means finding the right balance. And that includes between the still and moving parts of the performance. Occasionally, the public manages to surprise the artist. Once there was this old lady who was moved to tears by my act. She even hugged me. And at the same event, there was also a man who took photo after photo of my pedestal, although I wasn't standing on it. I was taking a break at the time. The World Living Statues Festival is overseen by a jury of three experts, but the overall vote is split 50-50 with the public's opinion. There are no set rules for determining what exactly qualifies as a living statue. We look at the way they are, they are designed, the quality of their uh, the costumes and the makeup, and we look at the way of interaction, gaming, and playing with the audience. That's a very important thing. You can do much or you can keep it subtle. As a living statue, I do prefer interaction, which is subtle. All contestants appear on stage once more before the winners are announced. And then the wait is over. Patrick van Horn finishes in second place. He's beaten only by a Dutch group called Favondering, which means amazement. Speaking of which... I wasn't expecting it. A massive surprise. A moving moment for the masters of immobility. Plus 1,000 euros. Not a bad payoff for just standing around. <laughs>